Hi guys, in this lecture I am going to teach you the priority of the style sheets and how to add the comment in CSS and the classes and the how to give the different style to the HTML list. So first of all let's start how to add the comment in CSS. So first of all you have already know what is the comment. The comment is just used to describe the code. It is used to give the detail and it is not rendered in the browser when browser start executing the program. The browser ignore the comment. So how to add the comment? In the internal style sheet here I'm gonna add the comment. First of all we are able to write any text then we have to write static and forward slash so now this is a comment this is a way of adding the comment first of all we have to write the forward slash static and then at the end static and forward slash so now the next thing is the priority of the style sheet style sheets uh, so now here I'm gonna apply uh, the same style by using all the three methods on this paragraph. So now here first of all I'm gonna apply the style and here in this I'm gonna write a style. I'm going to give it the color red. Here this inverted comma is extra it is also extra here we have to write colon so now I have give the color to this paragraph is red by using the inline style sheet and then here I'm gonna create a selector and then give it the color yellow and now I am going to link to a style sheet I have already created here I'm gonna give a link to that style sheet and then open it here relate style sheet type here is the text for which I CSS and then hyper reference and then style dot CSS and now I'm going to open it here style.css so now here I am also gonna apply the same style on the paragraph the color and here I'm going to give the color is purple so now uh, all of these three style sheets are applying different color on this paragraph so now the question is this what color is apply on this paragraph here let's execute it here you can see that red color is applied the red color is from the inline style sheet so the first when we apply the same style by using all three style sheets the first priority is of the inline style sheet the inline style sheets style sheet have the greater priority as compared to the internal and the external style sheet so at the first this inline style sheet execute then the internal style sheet execute and then the external style sheet execute so this will happen when all three style sheets have the same properties but if the style sheets have the different properties so the this priority cannot be applied this priority is apply only on those properties that are same in all these three style sheets here I'm gonna apply the font family here is the Tahoma so now this font family property exists only in this style sheet so now let's execute it and you will see that the font is changed because this property is not present on all these three style sheets and here I'm gonna apply the background <coughs> and yellow background so now this property also apply on the paragraph here is the background is because this property is not present on all these three style sheets so the priority is not applied so here I want to tell you another thing here I'm gonna remove this font family and remove this background color and now I will show you another thing that is if we edit uh, if we cut this link 
to the external style sheet and paste it under the internal style sheet so here I'm gonna remove the internal uh, inline style sheet so now what will happen the second priority is of the internal style sheet but now here the external style sheet style is apply on this paragraph the color is become purple why because the internal style sheet have the second priority and the external style sheet have the third priority beside this uh, the external style sheet is below the internal style sheet and it execute after the internal style sheet so we have to paste the link of the external style sheet always above the internal style sheet so the priority is correct you have to adjust these things now the next thing is the classes what is the classes here I'm gonna create two paragraphs and then apply the different styles on these paragraphs here I'm gonna remove the external style sheet and remove this link and now here I'm gonna copy this paragraph and paste it here so now here are two paragraphs executed and now I am gonna apply the background color on the first paragraph here I have write the background property and then here I have write the red and I have also write the selector but now what happened here you can see that the background color is apply on both paragraphs why because this paragraph selector select all paragraphs in the HTML page so now what we need to do we have to give the class what is the class the class is the identity which we are able to give to any HTML element and then the or then an HTML element have their identity so we can uh, recognize any HTML element with their class so now here I'm gonna give it a class here here we have to write the class in the starting tag of the, any HTML element then we have to write the inverted commas and then we have to write any text but here I'm gonna write first and here I'm also gonna give a class here I'm gonna write class inverted commas and here is the second so now this class uh, this paragraph have the identity second and this have the first you can write any text and now I'm gonna use these identities to give the different properties here what we need to do we need to use these classes as the selector here we have to write the classes starting with the dot we have to write we must need to write the dot before the class name dot first and then we are able to provide the background properties and here I'm gonna write the second class dot second and then here its background color is different its background color is become the yellow so now let's execute it and here you see that both have the different colors because we have given the classes and we have used the classes as the selectors so now we are also able to use the classes to give the same properties to both paragraphs or to the different elements here I am gonna create a heading here is a heading which have a random text here is the h1 if we provide the same classes to all of these elements so we can apply the same properties to all of these elements or we can apply the same style on all these three elements here I am gonna change the name to the first this paragraph also have the class name first and here I am also gonna give the class name 
first you can give the same classes to any number of elements you can give the same classes to different HTML elements you can give the different classes to the different HTML elements you can give the different classes to the same HTML elements so now here all these have the first class so now all the HTML elements have the background red so now execute so all HTML elements have the background red so this is the way of using the class so I hope you understand how to use the class and the next thing is the list how to give the different styles to the list so now I'm going to remove it and here I am also going to remove these paragraphs and here I am going to create two list here is the unordered list and it has the li and here is the t and here I'm gonna edit it to the coffee and here is the milk and here is the sugar so now I'm gonna give the different styles by using the CSS to this list now execute it so it have the dot or the bullets index so now what we need to do we just need to write UL and then parentheses in these parentheses we are able to write list style type the list style type is the bullets or the index here we can change these bullets to the scare so the scare are created here are the scares you can see that scares now here I'm going to give the disk so the disk are present here execute it so here are the disks and you can also give it the value circle so the circle will be present here are the circles and you can also give it the value none so there is no bullets or square or anything and you can also give the image at the place of the index here I'm gonna give the list style image here URL and then in between these parentheses we have to give inverted commas and here we need to write one dot jpg might be this picture will load here this picture is too large so here is the t have this image as an index and here is another picture you can give the small pictures instead of these large pictures and now I'm going to create the order list here is the order list and now execute it so here are the one to three are present so we can edit this we can give the list style type here I'm going to remove it you can give the list style type first of all edit it to OL and give the value list style type is upper roman here is the upper roman so now let's execute it so now it is upper roman we can also give it the lower roman and now i'm going to give it upper alpha so there is a capital letters here is the upper alpha alpha have the wrong spelling alpha so that's why it cannot execute so here are the upper case capital letters you can also give it the lower alpha so there are lower case letters you can also give it the value decimal so there are letters are present sorry it's not letters its numbers are present one two three here I'm going to write decimal so there are numbers and you can also give it 
leading zero so all the numbers have the zero at the start here are the zeros and now you can also put the none value here I'm going to give it the none value and there is nothing present and you can also put the image list style image here what you need to do you need to write the URL and then write the name and the extension of the file here is the 2.jpg and let's load it here are the images are present here you can see that so this is the way we can give the different style to the HTML list and in my next lecture I'm going to discuss the border how to add the border how to add the outline how to add the padding margin so see you in the next lecture thank you for watching this video